Good day everybody, this is Mel Caroco again and previously I posted one video about Photoshop lighting designs. So I showed how the brushes from Photomatic Files can be used in Photoshop lighting design. And I got a nice comment from one of my friends in LinkedIn and his name is Mr. Hugo Melgar. He is the director of Del Centro de Tecnología and Illumination or CTI and Universidad Autonoma de Guadalajara. So yes, and he mentioned about um, using Photoshop as not a good uh, software for lighting design. He mentioned, okay, I will just read it now. <laughs> With all my respect, dear Nelka, I don't know about this post. Uh, it is not real light design, you know. For years, I saw many lighting designers to present renderings with this tool and take down the good effort and calculations, time and work, of a good lighting design just for the renders with Photoshop. Um, he said that we must be responsible an active part of the good information to the generations because as many people think that uh, this is a huge mistake. Um, as much the use of this software is not for lighting results but you are a professional as i am more than uh, 22 years and everyone take part of the future of the professions best regards okay i did not read it properly but he mentioned that um yeah photoshop is not good for a uh, lighting design but you go don't worry i know that is that is really not correct but I mentioned in uh, my Photoshop lighting design course, go and check that one. Okay, let's go. Yeah, here, this is my course in Udemy. Go and check this one. I mentioned, I mentioned that um, uh, this Photoshop for lighting design is used only for uh, facade lighting, landscape lighting, and also some interior lighting design. Of course, we cannot use it in um, road lighting or sports lighting or any technical lighting design because Photoshop is just for conceptual lighting design. Okay, I also mentioned it in my book, so go and check it in my book. This is the How to Become an Effective Lighting Designer books and on page 43, I mentioned I have one boss before in Dubai and his name is Mr. Vipin Gulati. So if anybody knows Mr. Vipin right now, yes, he is my former boss and he is the first person who told me to stop using Photoshop because it's like cheating. He said that I'm creating a lot of beautiful pictures, but we are not sure that it will become real in real life once it is installed because it's just purely imagination and we might be into trouble if we did not give the same effect or result to the client later on so that's what he said to me so he's the first person who told me to stop using photoshop but there is also another boss of mine who said that yes you are very good in photoshop so just keep using it <laughs> okay so yes so we can use actually um photoshop for conceptual stage because sometimes we cannot run a calculation in dialax evo or any lighting design software especially if it's a huge object like for example facade or landscaping and sometimes photoshop can do its role as showing off or creating a concept for lighting design okay so yes you go this is not correct it's like cheating like creating a good picture but sometimes it's doable especially if you're running out of time and you just want to show to your client how it will look or your concept will be and later on if you want to check it you just run a simple calculation for the facade using the software once the photoshop has been approved and also once the Photoshop has been approved, you can immediately mention to the client what are the fittings to be used because you already know from the heart that you created the Photoshop and by that picture, you can easily say that, yeah, that, that this one is the wall mounted and it's from, for example, Vega or Thorn 
or any brand and this one is the bollard so and that and you can also create immediately the cost for that so costing is important because they want to know immediately how much it will be cost for that say facade lighting design or landscape lighting design so that's how uh that's the other way or the other technique on how to present to the client this is not a correct calculation because it's really not a calculation but it's just a conceptual presentation for lighting design okay so if you want to learn more about this photoshop um lighting design uh, photoshop for lighting designers go and check my course yes it's only 9.99 right now because it's pandemic so go and get that one and um you go thank you so much for your comment that is correct and uh, yeah, this is just part of our conceptualizations in lighting design. And later on, I will show you some of uh, one of my famous project, uh, the Blue Mosque in Oman, where the architect used Photoshop to convey his concept in lighting design. And then we suggested the luminaires to achieve those kind of effect that he wants in that mosque. Okay, so on the first stage, uh, the architect used Photoshop to, 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 to show us what he wants to, to achieve in the, in the facade lighting of that mosque. And then um, we, as lighting manufacturer and supplier, we suggested the fittings. And then the architect said, how did you know that this will uh, achieve the effect that I want? And then from there, we start using the Dialux Evo software to run the calculation to show to the, to the architect the effect that, uh, yes, using this luminaire, we can achieve the effect that you want in reality. So yes, I will show that to you in the next video. So see you again on the next video.